been something I've looked up to and cherished and admired for years. I met Elizabeth when we were in the sixth grade and we became close, fast friends. And then a few years later, Nick came into our lives. <laughs> Dan is nothing but an older brother to me and naturally Liz has always and always will be my sister. And you always want the best for your family. And I know that Nick is the best for her. And so I'm so happy for this day. We're celebrating the coming together of two people, of two families, to be united in love. Nick and Elizabeth are a sign to our people, our culture, our country, that it's unity that creates strength. It's unity that will bring about peace. It's unity that will bring about love and we all hunger for that we hunger for it you're assigned to us all your beauty your strength your tenacity your wonderful loyalty to one another will strengthen us all Do you take Elizabeth to be your wife? Do you promise to be faithful to her in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health, to love her and honor her all the days of your life? Yeah. Elizabeth, do you take Nick to be your husband? Do you promise to be faithful to him in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health, to love him and honor him all the days of your life? I'm so grateful to have grown up with you two and to have been a part of your journey together. I can't wait to see what the future has for you guys. Elizabeth and Nick, I wish you so much happiness and health and a joyful long life together. Elizabeth and Nick, may you always have the love of your family and friends, but above all, may you always share that everlasting love for one another. Cheers. I introduce to you Mr. and Mrs. Nick and Elizabeth Rohan.